Okay, guys, here we go. This is the most powerful motor I have from EX, Bigodi EX. Almost 4000 watt. How you do? What uh, can describe describe a powerful motor? It is about um, electromagnetic force that generates uh, um, by uh, this copper winding and uh, magnets on uh, stator side, right? This is a stator side that is not moving. That inside that moving, you see it's a uh, this this uh, copper bindings is on uh, on the moving side inside of of the motor. This motor is huge. If we can compare with. Uh, Lipper team motor I have he has a Lipper team two thousand five hundred watt. This is the main things. Uh, another motor from Kingston sixteen X. It's almost the same. Same diameter. Just for comparison, you see Lipper Kim, King Song, in motion, in motion V11, same size, this hollow motor. And then we have Bicodi from Tesla. Same size motor, just the rim is different. On Lipper Kim, you have a hub motor, not hollow. Same construction, same copper windings, small, small copper, uh, like. Uh, 0 0.5, 0.6 millimeters bindings, copper. This one, uh, the only difference is a uh, rim 16x, 16 inch, and uh, Lipper Kim has uh, 18 inch wheel. The rim, the same with uh, Emotion V11. Only the difference is a uh, <coughs> uh, hollow motor. Same copper, same copper windings, approximately uh, same amount of copper you see here. And then you have Tesla. The only difference is, uh, is the rim. You see, the motor is almost the same, but it's 16 inch rim, C30, it's about magnets. So you see here, on the motor, motor uh, all these motors have C30, also, uh, 30 millimeter wide magnets. C30 it means uh, 30 millimeter wide rim, wide magnets. It's um, high speed, high speed motors. Not not that torquey. Uh, compared to C40 motor from Bigodi uh, X. 
this motor is made by different factory. Here you have QG motor, QG motor, huge windings, it's massive. This is very impressive compared to <coughs> compared to Sherman motor. I had so many problems with uh, you see all wires that go through through this little hole and it's, be, uh, it's become overheated and damaged so you have to replace the whole motor. And it's not torque, the problem is if you want power from your wheel, this is the heart of your wheel. The motor is uh, everything. Motor is about power. Uh, power will be generated here by electromagnetic force generated between uh, magnets and uh, copper windings. Look how massive this copper is it's about almost one yeah it's one millimeter copper you see it's huge and the magnets it's it's much thicker it's c40 it's a four centimeter wide magnet very massive construction you feel it's like it's totally different animal there is no you see how much smaller it is. Uh, the diameter of um, rim is the same, but then you have this space between rim and uh, magnets. It's like five centimeter. It's it's massive here. There is no spaces. You you cannot see through this wheel. You understand? It's uh, it's all all this. It's working, it generates power, it generates electromagnetic force back and forward. You know, when you lean, this thing is move rapidly. It's, it's uh, react on your movement. I am very impressed by this power. It's, uh, this is the most powerful wheel I built so far with these motors. This is motor I use on my RSX, most powerful wheel on the planet for now. Everyone was impressed by power of this high torque wheel. All my high torque wheel I built with uh, C38 or C40. This is most powerful motor that I use on torquey wheels for off-road and also for racing purpose, you, you want some light, sp fast spinning wheels, then it's C40, you know, this, all these wheels, it's, it's okay for, for racing, you don't need that much power, it has to be light and quick, responsive, this guy has inertia, it has mass, you know, this very heavy wheel. And you understand it's uh, if you want to climb and jump and uh, well jump is not that easy with heavy wheels but at least the power for climbing you can accelerate up upstairs <laughs> you can uh, accelerate while you climbing up hills this is the latest motor for um, uh, Master here. It's hollow motor, C38, high torque motor. Uh, but still, you see, it's, a, it's the same construction on, as on other motors I show you. It's not that, it's not, it's a, the winding, it's a, 
it's totally different it's not it's not that massive not that heavy as as this motor yeah so we will see some kind of um, high torque 4000 watt motors used on, on C30 from Bibody, the latest um, high torque wheel um, probably it's not that big uh, uh, bearing they use, not that big hole you know they used to be hollow motors used to be like this now uh, like a master or or uh, full motion no less than motion actually v12 don't use a hollow motor from the motion v30 eta so we will see how it goes <laughs> 